Hey everyone, this is Angela from Bake It With Love and today we're making our lobster mac and cheese. It is so good. It's one of those to die for dishes. You gotta have this. So let's get rolling. We're gonna start out with uh, one stick of butter. We're just gonna melt it over medium heat in our saucepan, okay? And then we'll be adding a couple tablespoons of flour and a cup of heavy cream as well as some lobster stock. We have that video. I'll put it in the comments section. There's a link to that as well as uh, the website link where you can get the full recipe and more links there to get to the lobster stock if you need it. So butter, heavy cream, a um, couple tablespoons of flour, and then we're going to add four ounces or half a package of cream cheese. And we're just going to keep that on medium heat, stir it until it's semi-melted. There's some more of the lobster stock. I'm adding it in little bits here to get my consistency right. So it, it, you can adjust this too for you. If your cheese sauce ends up being like way too gummy, because we're doing a stovetop version, we're not going to bake it off. Um, if it ends up being too gummy, add a little bit more lobster stock or seafood stock if you don't have lobster on hand. That works too. And if all else fails, chicken broth will work. So I added a cup of uh, white cheddar curds there, as I want it really mild because the other cup of cheese I'm using is smoked white cheddar between the smoked white cheddar and the lobster, the flavor is just gonna be amazing. That's why you don't see me adding a lot of salt and pepper here. If you do, you wanna add about a half a teaspoon of each, as well as some onion powder, half a teaspoon there too, and hold off on adding any more seasoning till the end when you taste it, because the butter, the cheese, they all have salt in them. There's a lot of flavor. And then we're gonna garnish this with some fresh dill, which you can, you know, stir into your dish and have that, it's amazing. So a little bit more lobster stock, you see there? A cup of lobster stock by the end of it. Um, and like I said, plus or minus for your taste, but roughly that. So yeah, I typically don't start this until I've already started my noodles. So I've got a couple cups of elbow macaroni that I have, that have boiling right now. When they're done, I'm gonna rinse them, drain them, and I coat them with a little bit of olive oil so they don't get sticky. And there's my cheese sauce. It is... <laughs> You know Guy Fieri from uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives and all those cooking shows? He says, you know, eat that with an old flip-flop. This is one of those things. I mean, it's so good. You could put this cheese sauce on anything. Uh, and then you top it off with lobster. What could be better? So you got your cheese sauce ready here. Your noodles have been waiting. You go ahead and add the cheese sauce to the noodles. And you're going to stir that in. And then I have on the side here a cup of chop lo chopped lobster meat as well as a little bit more that I reserve for adding on the top, which you might want to do too, because you know when you portion this all out, maybe uh, your lobster's fresh and you might have some macaroni and cheese left over, which we will, and I've got something amazing I do with that. Um, I'll show it later. It's just going to be a post, sorry, but I'll link to it in the comments as well. Um, so anyway, hold some back if you want to, that way when your lobster mac is nice and fresh, you can pile on some extra lobster meat. We've got a big claw we're going to be garnishing with here. In a minute, we are dishing up a giant heaping bowl of this heart attack in a bowl maybe but so so worth it and of course this is a pretty basic uh, stovetop mac and cheese you can add any meat or seafood in here that you can dream of I'm sure and uh, and have wonderful results too but this was lobster night we had top of the line fresh lobster just amazing food and a really great dish anyway that's it garnished um, I'm gonna eat that dill in my mac and cheese I'm not eating that whole portion, I promise. <laughs> I wish, but that's too much. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to subscribe so we have a lot of amazing food coming up and lots to share with you. We're so glad to have you here with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.